132 years of dark days, bright days and grey days in between. Mohammedan Sporting has had countless days of success and agony. But today could very well be the black and white day. Welcome to the most important match in this club's history as they are hosted by Shillong Lajong at the SSA Stadium. With Mohammedan Sporting potentially 90 minutes away from finally becoming the champions of the I-League. Shillong Lajong look to be party spoilers. Seventh in the table so far. A win for them and they can go up to sixth ahead of Delhi FC. And that is exactly what they would like to do. Early on in the season, they did play out a 1-1 draw at Nahati versus Mohammedan Sporting. But mind you, a draw will be enough for the Black and White Brigade if they are to get that today. This is the Shillong Lajong dressing room. And a few big names as well. The foreigners have been really good this season as well as the local talent. And a comeback season in the I-League has been a fruitful one indeed for this side. Winning eight, drawing seven and losing seven as well in this campaign. And Bobby Lingdo will be quite happy with the way his side have progressed. But of course they would like to get that win as I mentioned which will take them above Delhi FC and into the top half of this I-League table and that will be a very good result for them if they can do so in their comeback season. Uh, we are going to this match with, uh, with a very strong uh, plan that is to, to make sure that we combine well in front and uh, take advantage of our home match here and uh, and, and maybe take the first uh, lead because I think that uh, that will be helping us a lot also to keep the uh, team of home and sporting in uh, in our hands like uh, in control of the game so we're looking at, uh, at, uh, at leading at the first half if possible yes that's what we're gonna work on so the intent is clear from the coach of Shillong Lajong is to try and get a first half lead and put the pressure on Mohammedan Sporting and the pressure indeed is on the black and white brigade for them it is very simple to try and get a point or three out of today's fixture so that they don't have to leave it to the final match day of the season there will be quite a few nerves and quite a few big names on show as well as we've seen in the dressing room the likes of Eddie and Alexis and David as well, Ramsanga have been very good this season and it's been an absolute team effort and it always needs to be if you are challenging for the title and of course this has been a title challenge indeed. They haven't had a bit of the luck and results going their way in the last few games but now it all comes down to the final two matches. They can get a draw today which takes them on to 50 points and with their head-to-head -head record against Sridhi Deccan being the better, just a draw is enough. Even on head-to-head, -head, they can win the title if they are both on the same amount of points come the end of the season. Andy Chernyshov has tried and failed early on to try and get his hands on the I-League title. This could be the day that it finally comes into his hands. We'll have a word with him and see what he says ahead of this all-important encounter. Today I hope it will be a good atmosphere. People uh, will come on the, for the match and uh, make good football, really, atmosphere. Because when you play with supporters, not important they are with you or they are against you. But this is important, good atmosphere, football atmosphere. We want to show our uh, style, how we played uh, before, very aggressive, go uh, in attack, uh, press uh, this team on them side. And we want to win this game. This is only one thing uh, with uh, which we go on the ground. A positive approach on the cards from both coaches. And that means that this should be a hell of a cracker of a game. 1-1 one, one between these two earlier on in the campaign. So we know that a few scores have to be settled. An interesting thing that Andrei Chernyshov said is that no matter whether the fans are 
they are for you or against you as long as there are fans in the stadium then that is what matters and that will be something that motivates mohammedan sporting a couple of years ago they had a packed salt lake stadium where they were fighting for the title which with gokulam kerala that didn't help they still fell short this is how shillong lajong line up neto between the six kinsin lang roni gonzales and kensta at the back franky buam former mohammedan sporting player Hame, Demat, Renan, Paulinho, Rudwer, and Tadin on top for Shillong Lajong. And a few fans still flocking in here at the SSA as we take a look at Mohammedan Sporting. The pressure is on them. We always say that the title leaders are under the most pressure because it's the chasing pack that puts a lot of pressure on them. and my co commentator alongside me vashwa joins us how much of pressure will be on the black and white brigade today plenty in short is the answer and we'll get to know further uh, but before that we'll also have a look at how andrey chernishov has set his troops for this important game but the plan from him is to turn and the home fans into their supporters with their brand of football and there's the lineup padam chetri on call jasim irshad joseph ajay and adinga in the back line a very familiar one as alexis gomez kasimov and angusana with that creativity in the midfield bika singh and david amar to supply up front along with scoring along with eddie hernandez the front three looks lethal calls assists a package up front but uh, talking about package we'll get back to it but today's match officials uh, referee Santhil uh, Nathan along with assistant referees Parameshwar Kope and Kuldeep Singh Tarial fourth official Jehrul Islam the point table there Mohammedan Sporting right on top uh, a few points of difference with Srinidhi Deccan and a win here or even a point somewhat because of the head to head between the two will take them to glory days and to the title of the I league and into the ISL as well making it more interesting a battle but i was talking about a package uh, this stadium is one which has been packed and a package of entertainment including the style of play of Shillong Lajong and these set of fans absolutely and we have seen quite a few last minute thrillers quite a few intriguing games at the stadium and it's safe to say that Shillong Lajong have enjoyed their comeback into the I league and Mohammedan Sporting who had a bit of a break from the I league as well a few years ago have been back in the last few years came very close to the title a couple of seasons ago as i said they could have won it at home in the salt lake stadium but on that day it was gokulam kerala who took the i league title home not the best season last year for mohammedan sporting but andrey chernishov is back and he is back with a bang and with just 90 minutes between them and finally getting their hands on a national league and to add to it if they do you go straight into the indian super league and that makes it even better as you said <laughs> the prize is big here for this one little match at uh, the land of clouds really mikalia in shillong this team has shown promise this crowd has made the atmosphere more special last few moments before the sides get ready both the captains leading their sides today Renan Paulinho the Brazilian and Zoding Liana was been really good it has been a team performance from Mohammedan Sporting 14 wins this season that's the most of any side just the one loss to Real Kashmir which was a surprising one and seven draws and the problem has been those two draws before this game where they could have wrapped up the title eventually they couldn't because of the 0-0 draw between real kashmir and them and a 1-1 draw between intakashi and them as well well and here that crowd <laughs> let that sink in uh, mohammedan sporting will be troubled 
for an entire 90 by Bobby Nongbert. His men who are all up against uh, a dream. A dream for Mohammed in Sporting to get into uh, the Indian Super League. Uh, you were telling a while ago how the prize is big and Rachanishov has his eyes on the money really and looks so eager and motivated to just prove a point why they're on the top. Uh, but well, uh, the stage is set here. Uh, for an exciting battle. And uh, Lachong's uh, theatre is uh, ready for one last time this season to see their heroes uh, play at home. It is an occasion, a festival every time uh, the Reds of Shillong have stepped on this pitch. But this is uh, their toughest test. Uh, they're up against the table toppers uh, who have history in sight. Uh, one step away from the prestigious I-League title the gateway the portal to the isl is open and it is just a question of who reaches there first will it be muhammadan today here itself or will it be a cloud covering their shine straight away into an attack though a potential title decider it is a showdown here at shillong and straight away creating a buzz across and around the stadium shillong lichong almost I'm making nerves go crazy here. Absolutely, Vashwar, and you summed it up perfectly. What an occasion this could be for Mohammedan Sporting and for Shillong Lajong. It's all about giving their fans a farewell after they have been very good in this comeback I League season. Looking for a. Oh my goodness, what a goal that is! And that is something special from Mohammedan Sporting on the most special of days perhaps in their long rich history. Everyone has been surprised with what might be the goal of the season. We are still waiting to see who it is but that is absolutely spectacular. It looks like it is their number 10 Alexis Gomez with something out of this world. What a start to the game. Before we could settle, before we could think, Alexis Gomez out of nowhere, from a long, long way out, uh, saw the keeper out of his lines and oh, how precise that. Uh, and even the home fans, uh, though frustrated, they know to appreciate the good. And this is uh, better even than what they thought. My goodness, mean 1 0 in 50 seconds. And that is probably the quickest goal of the season, the fastest of the season. And Shillong Lechong have to regroup. Absolutely incredible. In the moments where you need your best to step up, sometimes, some places, there is an Argentinian with the number 10 on his back, which provides you with speechless moments. And that has happened this time for Mohammedan Sporting. As Shillong Lajong tried to get back into it, it started off with an incredible goal. Let's see if we get a few more. Chance for a distance again. This time it's over the top. And this will allow Mohammedan Sporting to just calm things out, calm things down a bit. And Andre Chernyshov, he doesn't remain too calm. But now, just a bit of a breather for all of us, isn't it, Vashwar? Wow, almost feels like the game just started right now. <laughs> and uh, the rest. Uh, Oh, the first two minutes is a, a nightmare which Shillong would love to forget. Uh, they started with their attacks initially, but on the counter it was that they conceded. Uh, it is a free kick for Shillong Lechong. One positive for them is that they have uh, all their Brazilians on pitch today. Both Marcus Silva and Douglas start in up front. Renan Polino in that defensive midfield and Daniel Gonzalez. An Argentinian against Brazil. Uh, <laughs> that is some story. Now the Brazilians uh, would want to fire or oh, definitely the Brazilians will want to spoil the party but so far it has been Alexis who started this party with an absolute cracker Frankie you Buam a former Mohammedan sporting boy looking to do the same today can he test the keeper Padam Chetri from this delivery it is a good delivery and just over the top and you could hear the crowd just almost bursting into elation. Ronnie Wilson rose up but couldn't hit the target. Uh, Ronnie Wilson has a habit of rising and scoring 
in uh, such situations. Frankie Buam has been involved in a lot of those goals lately. Uh, Ronnie could have just got the crowd up on their feet again. They'll always be up on their feet no matter what. Uh, and here's another exciting youngster to watch out for, uh, Tamai Klingdo. Uh, but what about uh, defensive commitment from Alexis Gomez? Just quickly tracks back to stop that attack. Uh, this will be one entertaining fixture for sure. And you spoke about all the Brazilians in the ranks for Shilong La Jong. That'll be a bit of a deflection. Padam Chetri will mop that up. You speak about the Brazilians, but in the last time these two sides met, it was a Japanese Takuto Miki who scored for Shilong La Jong. And David Amar for Mohammedan Sporting, who has been sensational this season, especially in the Calcutta Football League. Good ball towards the right hand side now. Angu plays it towards Eddie, who fends it off for a second, plays it back towards him, looking for another ball into the area. Just calming it down on Mohammed and Sporting. Here's Angu. Before he could shoot, ball is nicked away from him, and now Shilong Lejong can move forward. Well, that was sorting Liana rather, and that is why the space has opened up on the right hand side. A good little pass inside. Marco Silva trying to combine and will get it back though, but just a little wide uh, than where we expected it to be in. End to end stuff already from both teams, and no one will be giving up. Mohammedan, of course, uh, they need a few massive steps forward to the title. One point will do their job, but Shillong. And this is one last time this season they're at home. Here's a cross coming in straight to the safe hands of Padam Chetri. And because uh, they're playing one last time at home this season, they have even more motivation in their minds. Uh, their fans just love to see them play. I was seeing their posts uh, on their social media handles, inviting everyone to come and support the Reds. Uh, and they have turned up uh, without uh, much hesitation, without much questions being uh, asked and if you're wondering why that stand in the background is empty uh, that is still under construction you would see the other sides there and uh, the opposite side of uh, the pitch it is jam-packed here at the SSA Stadium Shillong and what a way to silence the crowd from Alexis Gomez it's almost as he was thinking ahead ahead of everybody else on this pitch and of course that is dangerous from Kasimov, gets brought down. Of course, in terms of thinking ahead, most Mohammedan sporting fans would have been thinking ahead, especially in the last few weeks. With the calculators out as to how many points will get them the title. A couple of draws haven't helped. And now, this is the day where they have to get it done. They don't want to go into the final match day hoping for something to happen. Uh, Joseph finds uh, Angusana. And uh, uh, he has been another player pretty much in the mix of things, Angusana. And they've got so many options, Mohammed, and that's the best part about them. No matter who is on, who is off. They played as a team, and that is what makes champions a unit together. And back to Angu, and now Kasimov under a bit of pressure. He still finds uh, uh, Zoring Liana. Hardy Nungri is missing out today's uh, fixture for Shillong. A deflection on the way on that cross, uh, but uh, Nato was up a task. Uh, we've seen a few changes under that uh, goalkeeping position for Shillong Lejong at times. Uh, uh, it was Bishal Lama, at times Rajat Paul, Lingdo and Nato. Uh, just picking a personal favourite, Rajat Paul, yet even though young, has been very, very promising. But Nato has got the experience and that is why he's been given responsibility in this important game. Yeah, many times we do see sides shuffling their keepers during a campaign. Of course, it's a very long campaign, 24 games, the entirety of it. Mm. Whenever you see a keeper moving into a bit of form, bringing some stability, then you tend to stick with him. Mobile and Sporting haven't had too much of the ball. That is good work there by Angusana. Joseph just brings that calming presence 
to the Mohammedan sporting back line. How good has he been this season? And just as I say that, he loses the ball. Commentator's curse is real sometimes. Now comes Shilong Lajong. A bit of a step in there to make sure the clearance is completed from Mohammed Irshad. They do have the lead, Mohammed in Sporting, but you can feel, you can sense a bit of the nervousness within the squad. And of course, they'll be nervous because uh, they, at this stage of the K, uh, league, uh, even when you go to give an exam, uh, there's a bit of tingling <laughs> nerves uh, and a few butterflies which uh, Mohammed are getting at the moment, but they have to uh, hold on, maintain composure, which Alexis Gomez did. And I'll see you, even if this game is expected to see a lot of goals, but uh, wouldn't be surprised if this is a, a close encounter in terms of uh, this score sheet. And in that case, they'll be thankful to Alexis Gomez giving them the lead because Shilong started on a high. They created two chances straight away and they are still trying to get more. But that one strike just took them by surprise and uh, has given Mohammedan a base to build upon, uh, which they are trying to. Here's Bikash from the left. So much of the supply has come from him and Rem Sangha who is missing today, injured. Across from Alexis, just away from Eddie Hernandez, his eyes lit up I'm sure. Already influenced the game so well as the Argentinian looking for Eddie, it was just a bit too high for him but he applauds the attempt. And he looks like he is raring to go today Alexis. Such an important player for Mohammed in Sporting. And as you said, this side is stacked with talent and options. Good touch there on the right hand side from Mohammed Jasim, who has done so well. Coming into the side as well. Hame, just switching it to the right for uh, Kinsai Kongshit. Uh, their passing is at times exquisite to watch. Uh, Sorting Liana uh, need to slide in to save uh, uh, his team from getting another attack uh, lashing on. Uh, Bobby Nongbert is animated. He wasn't expecting this. This wasn't a part of the plan. He said uh, before the match. Uh, in the pre-match interview and that they'll go all out uh, and try to get goals and get Mohammedan under pressure but uh, when you're facing such a big side it is never easy a clever attempt from Marcus Silva the flick just not coming off well and they do not give up still manages to find a cross but just away from the danger zone positive intent from both coaches in the interview and you're right, Bobby Nongbet wanted to put the pressure on Mohammed in Sporting. And it was just the opposite of that with Alexis Gomez with that stellar strike. A bit of a challenge there from behind. Spotted by the ref. Here's Alexis. Different role for him today. Given that... Uh, uh, they're playing with only one winger in the lineup today because David generally plays uh, in that hole uh, behind the striker. And uh, with uh, one wing being uh, David, oh, wonderfully done by Hame. A little silky touch uh, coming in. Douglas Starden combining with Marcus Silva. Here comes Shilong Lechong. Uh, they want to spoil the party bad. One step over in the box and he goes down. And that looks to be a penalty. Oh well, it is indeed. And some Brazilian flair just lighting up the show. This is one exciting chapter in the I League, which has just and just started. Penalty for Shilong Lechong. Well, there is that flair that you were talking about. Step over, move, a clear penalty. Ilshad stuck his foot out and. You've got to give credit to the ref. He was in the perfect position to give that penalty. And up steps Douglas Rosa Tardin. We've seen an Argentine goal already. Now it's time for a Brazilian to perhaps contribute to this game. 
Douglas Stardin has made a habit of comebacks. He's been off and on. And now he's on with a heavy strapping on his right. He's standing in the way of Mohammedan's dream. There's a lot to play for today, tonight uh, rather. A long time to go. And the first step forward was taken by Mohammedan. And it was an Argentine on the score sheet from a distance. And now steps up the Brazilian. Douglas Stardin on target, precise. Shilong Lechong back in this. Uh, they are never to be written out in any contest yet in the I-League. And the trend continues. Uh, they have now scored in back-to-back -back 10 matches. No wonder that uh, they are a side a picture of never giving up. What an emphatic penalty from the Brazilian. An absolute star show here from Shillong Lejong. They've come back 15 minutes into the game and with that roar here in Meghalaya, you also on the other hand probably can feel the silence which is dawning over Kolkata because Mohammedan Sporting had the lead and now they have succumbed to a sloppy penalty given away but a very very well taken one by Tardin. And he is pumping the fans up. They are up for it indeed. Shillong Lajong. And it's not going to get any easier for Mohammedan Sporting. They might be on top of the table. But right now, they've got the odds stacked against them. Because this atmosphere is sublime at the SSA ground. Zangusana getting it back to... Zoring Liana just playing a few passes, just settling down a few nerves. Ishad, he's the guilty party. He has been solid throughout the season, has attacking prowess as well. Alexis Gomez delivers, and Daniel Gonzalez in the way. And look at that cheer! Every tackle, every move is supported and backed by the Shillong faithful. And this has been a venue special throughout the season. Absolutely, it has been one of the best atmospheres, the best home grounds that any side has had the pleasure to play in. And they've missed I League football for a long time and finally they are able to host teams from across the country. The throw for Alexis, it went off him eventually and it will be a goal kick. And whenever a side is hosting their opponents who are looking to win the title they fight even harder because you do not want a side to win the championship at your home ground that is why Shillong Lajong will fight and fight very hard to try and make sure that it doesn't happen and of course they want to pick up three points for themselves as well a bit of pressure on the back line and Padam Chetri launches it long and David Amar is there always when his team needs and now Bikash and David Lal and Sangha and Bikash has seen a few players inside the box only one of them to be precise was present Alexis was just away from the danger zone and Shilong Lechong have it back a very quick paced game two quality sides here we both like to play that attractive brand of football Kasimov now Mohamedan Sporting trying to get a bit more of possession Bikash gets the 1-2 he should be able to keep this inside good delivery it falls to the edge of the area poor shot from Kasimov he's usually so much better from there and now a fantastic touch means that Shillong Lajong can move forward. That should be a yellow card. Mohammed Jaseeb stopping that counter attack. And another row follows that challenge. Brilliant turn there from Marco Silva to get away from him. And look at the difference uh, the crowd can make, the pace of the game can make. Too fast there, Marco Silva. And. Uh, yeah, the roar is getting louder. 
Uh, the ambience wonderful but Mohammedan uh, these are times which shows the metal of a true champion and Mohammedan will look to prove their worth and clinch the title from here itself uh, uh, here's a free kick taken short uh, or rather a grounded route I would say and Tamait uh, to Tanimal Gonzalez and here's uh, Shilong Lechang once again combining the movement, combination, strategy, everything has been very, very unique in the approach. Two youngsters trusted in the midfield is what, what makes it very interesting today. A lovely first touch. Alexis has not made the run forward of the post. Is still not in. Some luck. And do we call that champion's luck there, Liam? <laughs> it stays 1-1. One, one. Oh, it very well could be. A lucky scene of events there with the post being struck but something very unfortunate could have taken place at the very same moment because one of their stars have gone down and hopefully it's just a bit of cramp or something else as we take a look at this touch a fantastic touch it should have been number two there for Tardin brilliant ball in just stuck his foot out he was absolutely open and very lucky there were Mohammed in Sporting. But now Alexis has gone down. Lots of concern. Brilliant ball from Ken Star, you have to say. And Alexis hobbles off. But hopefully, from Mohammed in Sporting's point of view, he can continue. It's all happening today, Vashwar. They need him to continue. And the reason why I say so is uh, the quality he has got in himself uh, uh, his tricks his shooting his vision everything is right there on top and sportingly given back to Mohammedan sporting there is no shortage of uh, sportsman spirit in these two teams I'm sure and Alexis is walking fine at the moment not sure if he'll be taken off because there's one more match left after this Boom has stolen it, dribbles past one. Oh, that's a pile driver. Was it off the post as well? This is something special from Shillong here. Shillong and Chong are lighting up this game. And Mohammedan Sporting can just about hold on. Frankie Boom, the former Mohammedan Sporting player, looking to be a thorn in their side. Pratham Chetri was beaten all ends up. And that would have been a special, special strike from Frankie Boom. But it wasn't meant to be. And are they living a charmed life here? The visitors. They've given the ball away once again. And just a reminder, Mohammedan at the moment are playing with 10 men. As Alexis Gomez has uh, walked off for the time being. We'll find out if he continues. Or if he's taken off. But this is really giving a feel of a proper, proper picture. A movie uh, climax set up. Uh, but that is a big blow for Mohammedan Sporting. Alexis Gomez has been taken off uh, and do we have a new hero here coming on for Mohammedan? It is Koslov and he is more of a right winger than Alexis Gomez who is a creative mid. That doesn't really hurt the shape of the, uh, of the team of Mohammedan Sporting, doesn't really hurt the plans. But then at the same time uh, Alexis Gomez is a special, special player. Definitely he is inspirational and speaking of that so is Eddie Hernandez. Just went away from him, his long stride not helping him on that occasion proactive goalkeeping as well from Nato they did have options on the bench did Mohammedan Sporting great ball there from Irshad almost putting it there perfectly for Eddie Hernandez they did have Sheikh Fayaz on the wing they could have chosen Benison Barreto could play there as well in terms of foreign recruits, they also had Juan Carlos Nelar, who could have been brought on. But now it is Kozlov. First involvement plays it in. But easy bit of defending there from Daniel Gonzalez. Shilong Lajong are on it again. And the reason for bringing on Kozlov is that... Uh, he suits the formation more, a yeah. proper winger. And here's Frankie Buam. He's having added motivation against his former side. 
very, very closely fought game. This will be already getting a feel of some fireworks to come here. All the way back to NATO. A moments of calmness uh, and then a quick storm every while, every now and then. Uh, Ren and Paulino. And a majestic presence in that defensive midfield. Hame, quick switch uh, to the left here. And no way forward. Looking for the 1 2 there. There was a step in, no foul, says the referee. A bit of space opening up here for the visitors, and that is a poor pass after winning it nicely there, David. And Andres Chernyshov was very vocal about the fact that because it's such a good atmosphere here, because the fans are so present in every aspect of the match, that it will motivate his side as well. And that energy needs to be absorbed by the Mohammedan sporting players because right now it feels like they are more overwhelmed by the occasion rather than anything else. These are big occasions and this was the opening goal. What a banger to start with from Alexis Gomez who unfortunately has been taken off, injured and uh, somewhat protection for the final game too. But then uh, a beautiful move to get this penalty earned and uh, a finish perfect from uh, Douglas Stardin. Uh, and that has been uh, the trademark celebration for the Reds. Uh, Shillong have it back. Uh, just trying to play a few clever passes. Uh, David Lalansanga in the way, but they have it back. Uh, Here's Renan Polino. Oh, another clever little pass inside. And this is Marcus Silva. He's looking a different man today. Uh, finds Puam. And now out wide. Kinsai Kongshit on the overlapping run. Cooking something gradually. And eventually finds a pass in. Great control. Appeals for handball. Oh, laid up for Renan Polino. Just wide. Uh, Padam Chetri had his... Uh, Post covered. Five shots already from Shillong Lechong. They have come with the objective of spoiling the party. And once again, Shillong Lechong coming ever so close. This time it is Paulinho. It opened up for him very nicely. Padam Chetri breathes a sigh of relief as the ball passes that left hand side. And the energy is electric here at the SSA ground. Hoblin Sporting are being swallowed up by it at the moment. After the goal, no real chances for them. And they've lost their talisman as well. They need to dig deep and try and dig themselves out of this one. Another very good cross field ball towards the left hand side. Double team helps, but Will be a corner for the home side. And that was uh, Kenster on the overlapping uh, run. First corner of the game in favor of Shillong Lechong. And the defense of Mohammedan needs to be alert. It is Frankie Boom. I believe the second one, they got a one a while ago. And it is Frankie Boom again. Uh, who is causing all sort of troubles. Uh, Buam delivers towards the far post. Uh, and guess who? Eddie Hernandez. Uh, they're on the line clearing it off. And they continue with the attack here. A cut back. Uh, not a great one. Ronnie Wilson from here out has missed the target. Twice the post. Once a narrow miss. It is all happening here and Renan Polino is just lifting his teammate up. I'm not sure if that's because of the motivation or a bit of injury. It seems like a bit of a niggle. And we spoke about the loud, the loud cheers in this stadium, the silence that would have been in Kolkata. But you could hear probably the shrieks in Hyderabad with this sort of a miss from Ronnie. The Srinidhi Deccan fans and players will be watching this one very closely and they will be wondering how Ronnie Wilson has missed that one.
it's one of those which were easier to score than to miss. And it looks like Mohammedan Sporting and this particular goal post is living a charmed life. And they'll be hoping for more of the same. But they're not really attacking too much our Mohammedan Sporting. Shillong Lajong coming again. It's like they're playing with more players. They definitely are with the fans as the 12th man. Here they go again. Nice bit of trickery there. A bit of a slip. But everything working out for the men in red. Sit back and enjoy. <laughs> well, that is one advice to all the fans watching the game. Of course, the Mohammedan fans wouldn't want to hear that. They want all three points. And Mohammedan Sporting, they have uh, 60 more minutes in the game. Because half an hour played, it's one all. And Richard Nashaf already thinking in his mind what else he can do. And you mentioned that uh, they haven't got too many attacks. They haven't been allowed to. And we'll see that uh, chances again. This was Marco Silva's scuffed attempt. And Ronnie Wilson just couldn't uh, side-foot it into the net. A few of the runs into the box have not been picked up. Earlier on, Joseph didn't pick it up. This time, it was Zoding Liana who left his man. Mohammedan Sporting have not been switched on in defence today. I've got to change that if they want to walk out of this stadium as champions of the I-League. Here's David. Should have got a corner. Yes, he has. And that is a lot better from them. And this is where the likes of Joseph and Eddie will be moving forward. Hoping for a good delivery into the box. And look at Bobby Nong, but doesn't even want to give away a single corner. But the set pieces would have been taken by Alexis Gomez too. And now that he's off, it'll be Kosloff, the man who has come on with the delivery. Can Mohammedan get the lead again? Eddie Hernandez rose. There's still a chance in the box. Not cleared away well. And Angle was never supporting the shot. It has still stayed in though. Kasimov. <laughs> oh, twist and turn. No foul, says the ref. And a chance of a counter. They are very, very quick on those opportunities. Marcus Silva, a touch forward, and then in the box, uh, uh, there was, uh, thankfully, uh, the likes of uh, Jassim and Joseph J. everyone present, uh, quickly back. And that is a lot better from Ormuz and Sporting, just following the runners. Here they come again, Dushalong Lajong, but the pass wasn't the best that time round. Oh, that is brilliant from Eddie. That is effortless stuff. And eventually the touch doesn't come off, but how about that for some chest control? Poor pass once again. And you can hear the moans and groans from all of the Shillong Lajong fans. What an atmosphere this is. Yeah, trying to be a little extra creative there at times. Uh, and that's why those miss passes. But uh, top defending, look at the commitment and effort. And uh, a wonderful chest trap from... Uh, uh, Eddie Hernandez, but just after that, what Ronnie did, not giving up. It's okay, he won the first battle, the second is mine, wins back the ball. Uh, Eddie Hernandez having a few complaints. Four fouls apiece, uh, one goal for both sides, and a number of chances here already in the first 30 minutes. This is a fast flowing game, and of course, Semtil Nathan has to be on his top game too to control it. Oh, yes, these are the games you live for as a player. But as a referee as well, these are the ones which you train so hard for, which you learn your craft for. The ones with a packed stadium, with absolutely everything on the line. And since last season, it's not only about winning the I-League, it's about, as you said, a portal, a gateway into the Indian Super League. And Mohammedan Sporting, who have wanted to win the I-League for years and years, never were able to and now if they can do it they also get that chance into the Indian Super League so there's so much to play for in this game a committed challenge uh, but before that it was Jossim with some wonderful work there in the defense uh, he has made his uh, spot permanent in that first 11 since a while now uh, since they turned around things against Srinidhi Tekken and here's Koslov uh, Mohammedan can be lethal if they get this in, David, and now a free chance for Bikash, or just over. Somehow, or rather, that is a brilliant save. 
from NATO. And a corner for Mohammedan. Well, if he did get a touch on that, that is sublime. Let's take another look at it. Calls for a penalty. Bikash has to finish this. What a save! That is one of the best saves I've ever seen. Didn't catch that first time, but now that you look at it, it oh, you can't blame Bikash too much. That is a once in a lifetime save from NATO. And here comes Kozlov. Delivers it in. It's flicked on. And a bit of holding there from Joseph. And now it's kicking off. And they're just stirring the pot and stirring it even more. Well, that is that is something good to see from Daniel Gonzalez. It was a few words exchanged, I believe, from Nato there. Or maybe Renan Polino. And uh, just quickly stepping in the way was Daniel Gonzalez responsible uh, from the big man at the back. Uh, just calming Joseph down. Both centre-backs both know the game inside out uh, and it happens at times a more of a wrestling match was going <laughs> on there uh, for a brief while nato launches it uh, long oh it'll get only heated from now it might be a little cool here in shillong but that is uh, apart from this very stadium in <laughs> entire mikalia 10 minutes to play in what has been an exhilarating first half of action a half where you feel that it shouldn't be just 1-1. It should be a lot more than that. Definitely from Shillong Lajong's point of view. Two very big chances. They've hit the post as well a couple of times. And that save from Nato still can't get over that one. Because Love has had a positive impact into the game. We'll get a throw of this one. Well, I'll tell you what. Uh, this game at the moment, 35 minutes in, is 1-1 and people are still enjoying the game even with one goal apiece. You said they could have paid more goals, but that is a sign of a game being wonderfully played on pitch, just like the way it should be played. And that is what pulls fans, uh, attracts fans to watch. Uh, no matter whichever game bigger is going on, you want to watch the best football on display. And this is probably the best tonight. Uh, Chance for Mohammed and Sporting to just calm things down a bit. They decide to go for the direct route. Kozlov had a chance to pass it to Eddie. Nato did not want to use his hands there. Eddie Hernandez probably did for a <laughs> moment. <laughs> Was wanting that to fall his way. Well, he's used to grabbing opportunities. Not on that occasion though. there They're just leaning on to him says the ref uh, intervened by Daniel Gonzalez uh, and just that time of the game uh, where you tend to lose concentration a bit of a pull and eventually given uh, it was Damite Lingdo just falling a bit weak on that uh, challenge uh, I'm not sure why the ball was thrown uh, back at their own defense to waste some time surely <laughs> but uh, Mohammedan just putting a question forward to the official have a look have a look this will be happening more than you need to book them well if the time is wasted which is a few minutes left in this first half and the next 45 minutes and if it stays this way Mohammedan Sporting will not complain <laughs> that's for sure because a draw is enough for them just about but there's a long way to go, of course. Well, yeah, it is. But at the same time, uh, as we have heard from Mohammedan's coach, and even before the game, I was having a, a, a talk where I heard earlier in the morning, I would say, that they want to play for all three points. So they do not want to play for a draw, which is clear again from the intent. They got the first goal straight away. But again, it was uh, Pavi Nongbert who also said that they are not sitting back here for anything. They do not fear anyone. And... Uh, uh, whoever is up against them uh, they will play that fearless brand of football oh definitely and Shilong and Jong have nothing to lose they can go all guns blazing just like the fans are because Love doesn't agree with that call from the ref 
And when you have nothing to lose and when you want to give your fans a good show, then you will play attractive football and that's exactly what they are doing. Six minutes to go in this first half. Kozlov plays it backwards. Kasimov holds on to it. And in the last 10-15 minutes, Mohamedan Sporting look a bit more relaxed. More in control, I would say. And that's a yeah. giveaway from Eddie but towards Frankie Buam, uh, who has been uh, pretty much uh, the live wire in the last few games for uh, Shilong Jong. Uh, the problem has been that they haven't got too many points in the last few games and uh, uh, at the last four matches they have been winless uh, but two draws in that. Uh, and Buam wins it back. Uh, and they are winning runners every time they move forward. Here's Douglas starting. Uh, Renan Polino with the control. A Cena overlapper but combines inside. And Douglas Starin was thinking of a shot himself. Uh, not the best of ideas. And look at the numbers pushed towards winning that ball pack. 110% commitment as Damait almost threaded that through beautifully. A bit of a midfield battle now. Stemming. Good ball from Kasimov. Kozlov. Does really well to keep it in and keep control. Plays it to David, who loses out. He hasn't been too involved in this game so far as David. And now Shilong Lajong can move forward with it. That's a good step in there from Irshad. Yeah, but Liam, just to maybe put a point. Uh, if this is the start of the game, if this is just uh, yet to be half time, imagine in the second half because there is all to play for Mohammed in Sporting, especially the final few minutes of the game. But that's a long way from now with the entire second half. So that'll be another show here. Uh, hopefully, the same continues. Uh, we'll find out soon. And the free kick earned uh, and taken quickly. Well, that is uh, a bit surprising, but they had an option. To deliver in the box and now starting Liana, the captain rising. Clever leaf there from uh, Abikash and now David. Very intelligent about his game. Uh, starting Liana delivers uh, just away and Koslov will keep it in. Uh, another chance maybe for Muhammadan. It's towards Eddie. But NATO comes in the way again. A fantastic save from him and then a good challenge because a counter was on the cards. Joseph should get there first here. And he does, plays it towards Padam Chetri before the crowd could get a little bit more excited. Here we see the collection once again from Nato. And the best goalkeepers always start the counter-attacks quickly and that's exactly what he did. He's up for the bout today. David is looking a little off-colour. There's a possible tactical reason to it, the way they arrange the midfield of Shilong Lejong. Uh, at times, they shift into a, a diamond formation in the mid, which is not often seen in Indian football. And uh, apart from that, uh, David is playing in that hole and he's not getting that freedom today with sometimes Renan Polino, sometimes Hame, sometimes Damait, any one of them sticking to him. Uh, not really off the ball, but whenever he has the ball, they all rush towards him. And that is why Eddie Hernandez and David haven't... Uh, click too much yet. There was a fine little challenge from uh, Kasimov uh, and they need to press high uh, which they are uh, gradually. Um, is that a foul? Well, a free kick for Shilong Lejong. Yeah, that's a great point you make Washford. The fact that David has been marked out of the game so far and <laughs> you can see how animated Andrei Chernyshov is He's been within touching distance of the I-League title before a couple of years ago in Kolkata versus Gokulam Kerala. They needed a win in that game to secure the championship. It was an electric Salt Lake Stadium. But they were silenced by Gokulam Kerala. And those are the days where those memories must be haunting him. And if they managed to mess up this opportunity once again then I don't think many of them will be able to live with it that is fantastically done and now it opens up quite nicely for Shilong Lejong that's a poor touch 
that could have been another good chance for the home side. Matched up with some quality defending by Jasim. Saw the danger and was uh, quick to react uh, there. But what about that from Hamis? Suddenly just dodging the ball and just moving forward. Intelligence uh, at its peak. And uh, well, you were saying about uh, not taking the chance. Hopefully they will. They have uh, another match as well with Delhi FC against that. Just that they wouldn't want to keep it lying until that uh, uh, final match. And uh, Shillong will be looking to push them to that final day showdown. Uh, David, a little slip. Uh, and Renan Polino releases uh, Kenst uh, Quaker, uh, who indeed finds uh, uh, the might. A bit of pressure. And now they might have some space opening up. Uh, but not much options up front. Yeah, more than sporting. I think we'll be happy taking this score line into half time because they were opened up quite a bit by Shillong Lajong in that initial period of the first half just two minutes of added time and it's breeze past us this 45 minutes given away again this time to Buam who is not going to be caught from there looks for the one two it opens up nicely this is a fantastic move from Shillong Lajong and what a save and then Frankie Buam could have hit the back of the net and spoiled the party for his former side. What a spell of football that was. Passing football at its very best from Shillong Lechong. Look at the exchanges, the movement of the ball and the passing. The first time releases oh, Marcus Silva. He should have hit the target himself but Frankie Buam, the angle difficult but couldn't compose himself. The bounce taking him off. But it was all started by Buam himself in the midfield. What a run, that fantastic football from Shillong Lechong. Fantastic stuff all around. From the passing to the shot to the save. That was probably the best part of it all. And Buam was expecting the pass back again. But then the shot straight towards that corner. Padam Chetri. With another spellbinding save. We've seen two of them now, one on either side. Oh, he cannot believe his luck. How many times have they hit the post? Have they missed by margins and now saved? And th that is the beauty of that move. It was so well constructed that we forgot to talk about the save. And a brilliant save from Padam Chetri uh, to keep Mohammedan at levels. And a few seconds remaining. He has been a massive presence uh, under the sticks for Mohammedan. Eight clean sheets for him this season. And he's risen from the bottom of the I League straight to the top. With that season with Kenkri and now doing so well. Just a few moments away maybe from the title. But Hoblin Sporting will be thanking their stars that they haven't conceded more than one so far in this first half. The referee takes a quick look at the watch. And this half of football could go on forever, Ashwan, and we could just keep and keep on watching it, don't you think? All right, Lisa. A little pull. And there will be one last attack because Padam Chetri was injured a moment ago with getting a bit of treatment. And hence, one more move. You can see the expression and the feeling. It is not an easy outing. You ask the players after this game, even if they manage to get a point or three Mohammedan Sporting, uh, they will tell you how difficult it was here in Shillong. And probably one of the toughest fixtures for them too. And uh, uh, they have once uh, drawn with Shillong. Here's a chance. Uh, uh, one last attack before halftime. Yeah, Mohammedan Sporting haven't managed to beat Shillong Lajong in the I-League so far. One draw this campaign, one before this was won by Shillong Lajong. And that is an incredible first half of action here at the SSA ground. A fantastic start from Alex Gomez, Alexis Gomez. And then an equalizer from the spot. And eventually it is all to play for in the second half. And you can feel the nervousness for the more than sporting players. But what a half of football that was. Mesmerizing to say the least. 51% possession from Lachong. Seven shots of which is two on target. Though Mohammedan as well with two shots both on target. They have been clinical in that terms. 
and a few fouls here and there one corner for Shillong two for Mohammedan very neck to neck a battle uh, but uh, Shillong have really really made it tough for Mohammedan it is not a cakewalk and uh, uh, this will show the true champions nature and character if they can win this deserve it champions of course uh, and seven shots from Shillong Lechong Franky Buam and Douglas start in with two Douglas start in converting from the spot Renan Polino, Ronnie Wilson and Marcus Silva Rudvere with one attempt each. Just a couple of shots from Mohammedan Sporting. That memorable strike from Alexis Gomez and Vikash taking that. But one was very easy, very simple. The other one, a complicated strike. But such a well executed one. Six fouls from Shillong Lajong. Tamit with three. Kinsen Yang. Ronnie with one apiece and the seven fouls from Mohammedan Sporting Jasim with two they were, had to work uh, very hard in the defensive uh, uh, zones uh, zoning Liana Angusana Pikash uh, Joseph Ajay and Kasimov with a foul each uh, Alexis Gomez uh, will be a big miss in the second half uh, but they have quality in plenty in this squad the depth is there uh, the options are available and uh, they will look to fire some goals in and start the second half on a high Mohammedan Sporting. They have a dream in sight and they have a dream which can be completed and achieved at this very night. And the highlights of the first 45 minutes, uh, it is uh, a package really. We started with the word package, it's still a package. So much packed in 45 minutes. Oh yes, it was action from the word go. Within the first minute itself, this incredible strike from Alexis Gomez, which stunned the Shillong crowd and stunned the keeper Neto as well. He didn't know what hit him as he lunged into the back of the net, but could not stop the ball from hitting it. After that, Shillong Lajong had chance after chance. Ronnie with that header, then Frankie and the rest combining. This was a, another cross into the area which was just over the top of Eddie's head and then the penalty which was coolly converted and gave Mohammedan Sporting fans a bit of something to think about and Douglas Stardin with the celebrations almost got another. He struck this side of the woodwork and after that Frankie Buam did the same but it was a slightly higher shot. A bullet which went over the top after striking the woodwork. Eddie came a bit closer as Mohammedan Sporting looked for that second goal. Quite a few chances again for Shillong Lajong as they looked to take the lead. And they kept pushing and pushing. And pushing and pushing to create more chances. There was another open one, probably the best, and Ronnie missed it by margins. Pikash could have got Mohammedan on the lead, but a fine save from Nato. A top one, really, and then coming out to make the outing and release a counter. But right after that, a beautiful move and another fine save from the other keeper there. Padam Chetri, two keepers on top, two teams on top. 45 more minutes to play, and it is happening here in Shillong. At halftime, it's Shillong Lichong 1, Mohammedan Sporting 1. Stay tuned as we return shortly after a brief break.
ओके वेलकम बैक टू सेकेंड हाफ एक्शन इन वॉट वॉज एन एक्शन पैक्ट फर्स्ट हाफ यर बिटवीन शिलोंग लॉन्ग एंड मोहम्मद इन स्पोर्टिंग इट्स वन अ पीस एंड द मोहम्मद इन ड्रीम हैज स्टिल अ लॉट ऑफ उम्फ लेफ्ट इन इट बट विल दे लीव दिस सेकेंड हाफ एज द चैम्पियंस और विल दे हैव अ रूड अवेकनिंग and take this title fight into the final match day all those questions will have their answers at the end of this 45 a couple of changes have been made as well by ande chernishov and what do you make of them vashwar i was just talking about them to you at half time and one of them is already on we'll find out as 45 more minutes to decide if mohammedan can lift the title here tonight itself uh, or will shilong lejong stand in the way uh, for one more day to fight for mohammedan sporting in uh, the i league confirmation of the changes uh, swidika is on for just seem like for like uh, but no time to discuss uh, shilong lejong straight in attack uh, and one surprise is that david hamar has been taken off uh, for samuel lalmon poya and uh, that can sometimes be good sometimes backfire uh, backfire because david is such a player who has been consistent throughout the season has provided when needed but you were pointing about uh, how david was not uh, in his best shape today looking a bit off color because of tactical reasons or whatsoever and there comes the positive part when you bring in samuela who of course knows this pitch inside out in lejong here's where it all started for him with that captain sam band and the home fans sure remember and what a story it could be for him if after all of this all he's been through so many different clubs that he can get his hands on the title in this particular ground it will be a special moment for him if he does and perhaps that's why andre chernishov has chosen him because he knows shillong lejong well he knows this ground he has quite a bit of experience and does come out with those goals and those important moments wherever his side requires it you got to feel for david because he couldn't do much about the involvement in that first half but he has been such a good performer for mohammedan sporting in the season so take nothing away from him here come mohammedan again here's eddy bit of a loose touch from him couldn't keep it under control and it almost breaks for shillong lejong but joseph does well to play it backwards to Padam Chetri who pulled off an important save towards the end of that first half. It could be one of the most important saves in their season. Uh, that kept them in, at level terms. Uh, distributing play well uh, and you summed it up rightly uh, from table bottom to leading and now Shillong Lechong uh, they have a chance Renan Polino skip past one but in the way was it Shad He's the one who gave away the penalty but with such challenges he sure made up for it not just the first time this uh, that he has stepped up to take responsibility. Let's take another look at it. Pass was played towards Paulinho who was behind him. Oh, if he went down a little earlier could have been a shout for a penalty. It was quite similar to the first half pen. But credit to the Brazilian for not going down so easily. Suidika slotting in that right full back uh, role he's been uh, started pretty much before Jasim was getting the starts and here's a cross towards Bikash uh, seen well by Kinsai Kongshit uh, experienced lad there on the right back position and Richard Nishov though is having a bit of a, a headache already and there is another man who has been with Shillong in the past who is on the bench uh, there Allison uh, he's with uh, Mohammedan Sporting He is uh, the assistant coach of Mohammedan. And lots of narratives, lots of former Mohammedan sporting players in the opposition. Lots of, and vice versa, if you could say it. But I would, I wonder what Andre Cherishov would have said at halftime. Probably one of the most important team talks that he could have ever given. 
And I wonder what he said to his players, how he riled them up for what is such an important 45 minutes of football to play for them. It's also very important to hold on to their nerves, but it's thankfully a perfect challenge, otherwise it could have been a card. And here's Bikasha from the left, has found Samuela, and tried to cross it with his left in the way. That was Ronnie Wilson, I believe, uh, just tracking back to the right-hand side. And Samuela's addition is more of a creative medio uh, than David. David is more of a proper striker. And that is why probably has been brought on. And now a throw-in for Mohammedan. The crowd also taking every bit, every minute of this game and turning it into the spectacle that it is. It's not just your ordinary I-League game. It is the game where Mohamedan Sporting could be the champions. And it's also the final home game for Shillong in what has been such an impressive homecoming back to this wonderful league. And here they come again. Nice turn from Silva. Plays it wide to Guam. Up against Joseph. He will back himself with a bit of pace here. But Joseph does ever so well. With his big frame, just making sure that Guam doesn't go past him. He goes back again and is forced back very well. That is super defending. But at the same time, look at the movement of the Lejong players. Oh, Daniel Gonzalez thinking of a shot. A lined one up, but well wide off the three sticks. And just the eight shot now as compared to the two from Mohammedan Sporting. Was always going over the top, but you can understand why. From home and sporting, they would not mind the same scoreline till maybe the 70th minute. Then, of course, it comes into game management and how they can get the job done. But of course, they must be thinking just one goal. And it could be job done because then in order to not win the title they would have to concede two and that will be a tough ask for Shilong Lajong to score a couple more lots of calculations lots of ifs and buts and maybes it all comes down to this one today what history says and they can make anything possible at this venue and that is why Mohammedan would want to strike first in the second half they need a goal, Mohammed and Sporting. Uh, they need to step up the contest. Uh, just a reminder is what they need. They are the table toppers. Uh, they are uh, the team who have lost only one game in the entirety of the season. That is how strong they are. And if Real Kashmir earlier in the day was the strongest defense in the league, this is the second strongest defense uh, in the league. Uh, they have performed so very well throughout the competition. 49 massive points in 22 matches uh, and they need a little more a run from Koslov uh, NATO was alert that's usually if you're talking about cricket it's usually when you're on 99 that the nerves kick in but now more than sporting nervous on 49 just a point away from the half century and it's a lot more than a point it is the legacy which they have tried to build and have built over the years. They've won almost everything except for the I-League. Here comes Shilong Lajong. A bit of a heavy touch there from Frankie Buam. <laughs> Douglas Sarin just uh, getting into the mind of Padam Chetri there. And that is sometimes what a striker uh, needs to do and that is something you do not teach players. That is something inbuilt comes into you uh, in your footballing mind. You know when and how to do it. And sometimes can be effective even though it looked something very ordinary. Uh, what's special in it? But sometimes uh, that really uh, gets into the mind of the opposition. And here's Marco Silva towards uh, the right hand side now. Shilong Lechong are enjoying possession. Hame has been impressive uh, under pressure uh, from uh, Samuela and uh, one back. Uh, a great positional awareness from Kasimov. Uh, 
as they're looking to launch it long a diagonal ball towards Koslov. Very eager to perform this lad. Koslov releases Suidika. Just not weighed perfectly. A fair challenge, says the ref, and no complaints from Mohammedan as well. He still went in for it. You could see the challenge coming, not backing down at all. Good work from Kozlov, but just a little light that pass. And here come Shilong Lajong once again. Renan sets it up. Great challenge. And somehow another touch from Angusana makes Mohammedan fans breathe another sigh of relief. But that was a very nice reverse ball there from Renan Paulinho, who's pulling all the strings every time he moves forward. Ref asks for the game to be stopped. Someone is down. And that can be trouble for Shilong Lajong. It seems to be Ronnie, but we'll have a look at that chance again. Lovely challenge from Zoring Liana. And that is why he is their leader at the back, wearing the captain's armband. But Ronnie Wilson is down. Such a massive defensive pair to have uh, for Shilong Lajong. Uh, the likes of... Uh, Ronnie Wilson and Daniel Gonzalez uh, combined four goals uh, between the two centre backs. Uh, three of them, though, for Daniel Gonzalez. Uh, uh, there is on the screen the big frame uh, uh, there. The physio just having a check. Uh, we'll have a look at the goals there. This was how we got the first in 50 seconds of the game. Uh, a cracker to open up the contest. Uh, but then, since then, it was Shilong Lechong who stepped up. Uh, uh, massively and from the spot converted uh, Toglo start in now uh, back in Shillong have to praise their scouting as well Shillong Lechong the way they have got the players in and some cheers uh, I'm sure uh, for uh, Ronnie Wilson uh, who is probably being taken off or is he we'll find out soon but at the same time uh, we have to give credits uh, to Mohammedan, who even after so many attacks have held on. We've talked about the attacks, but it's still 1-1 on the score line. Yeah, they have been a bit lucky to not go down. Especially the two shots which hit the post and Ronnie missing that open post. But sometimes you make your own luck. Here is Kozlov. This time on the right hand side, puts it into the area. Can Bikash keep it in? Yes, he will. He is very pacey on the wing. And the tempo is being dictated by Mohammedan Sporting now. This is what they need to do. Just hold on to possession. Keep the game a bit slow. Because Shilong Lajong are feeding off that frenzy from the crowd. And now it's really helping for Mohammedan Sporting. And then you draw in challenges like that. And they get themselves a set piece which they can make the most of. Kasimov is probably not aware of the threat Samuela possesses from these kind of ranges. <laughs> and this is Samuela's own. Not sure who will take it. So Kasimov also has the quality. It seems like Samuel Lalmanpuya. Bobby Nangbert knows a thing or two about that. Just walks back to his bench <laughs> almost as in if anticipation creeps in. And we'll find out soon. Samuela is lining one up. And the best idea would be the cross, uh, but uh, we have seen surprises in the I-League. Free kick for Mohammedan. Uh, Samuela uh, delivers and goes for goal himself. Uh, but NATO was alert. Uh, if uh, Bobby Nongbird knows a thing or two about Samuela, and Samuela knows a thing or two about this pitch, so does NATO. <laughs> <laughs> now definitely, that is his range. Went for that far corner. But it's going to take a lot more to beat Nato, especially after that magnificent save he made. What a touch that is. It goes towards Eddie, the waiting for advantage, doesn't play. And that is another smart touch there. And you can see a bit of frustration now on the home team and their coach. Oh, easy just seeing the game slip away there in his mind. Sometimes as coaches you can just see the future. Uh, from the way things are going on and Samuela again wins this side of free kick but this time it'll be Kasimov uh, uh, to deliver we'll be looking for a good delivery in a few people in the box 
straight towards Neto, who doesn't take any chances this time. Was under a bit of pressure from his teammate there. It was Daniel Gonzalez. Already almost 15 minutes played in the second half. Time is ticking. There was Kasimov's delivery punched out by Neto. Uh, and here's another chance for Mohammedan, just wide. And the good news for uh, Shilongo Jong is that Ronnie Wilson has walked back on pitch. There he is on your screen. Uh, and uh, Neto is, has some question marks with that football, really. And uh, we'll get another one. There's ample of it all around if you are familiar with the game. <laughs> and uh, Neto will take it short. Uh, they like to pass it around, but that was a bit of risk taken. And now Samuela tried to feed it back uh, towards Eddie Hernandez. Difficult control. And that is why he tried for that, but Mohammed didn't have the ball. Here's Samuela uh, making things happen. 50-15 possession stats. Oh, that's a lash out from Kasimov. But Marcus Silva has uh, feed it Buam forward. A check back uh, and strong defending uh, from Zuidika. And suddenly, uh, the game again uh, brought back to life. Uh, and that is where Mohammedan are trying to slow it down because Lachong, uh, they are loving the pace. And Mohammedan want to keep it slow. And here's uh, Marco Silva again. Gets a touch pass. Joseph Ajay unleashes a shot, but Suidika. Uh, that is top defending from Mohammedan. And that brings the crowd alive. Fantastic stuff from Marco Silva. Too quick for everyone else I think that probably would have been saved by Padam Chetri but that is the energy that you've got to show if you are a Mohammedan sporting player and you can hear the crowd what an atmosphere they've built up here for what has been a superb game to watch and call Frankie Baum now lines up a corner boosted by the voices of the Shillong Lajong faithful Kozlov misses it has that gone towards the post it was cleared away it almost went to the corner here they come again a shot from distance and it has been put wide again in fact it got a touch of Chetri and it is another corner Padam Chetri will be thanked by Mohammedan supporters for time in the can keeping them in the game a different idea from the corner a set piece routine coming into play Ronnie Wilson they couldn't get on to it uh, before the Mohammedan players uh, and Mohammedan were looking for a counter oh that's a giveaway a cheap one and here's Koslov uh, Mohammedan on the break uh, there are numbers running forward Koslov goes for goal and that is a stunner a spice in motion sizzling hot and Koslov has given Mohammed in the lead. And he has replaced Alexis Gomez not just uh, on the pitch, but on the goal scoring sheet as well. Oh well. Uh, this is what Mohammed needed to get in the lead here in such a tough night in Shillong. It is a special, special night for everyone involved. And that is a special strike. From Kozlov, not in the starting lineup, but he takes the place of Alexis Gomez and replaces him with a worthy, worthy banger of a goal. And Vashwar, if you said that the first one was special, then this one is worthy of a title, isn't it? Oh, what a strike. He just cuts back, knows what he's gone into, looks to the target and finds the target uh, this is uh, a bit of heat in cool Shillong and the cloud cover moving away but this game is not yet over trust me Liam well Mohamedan sporting fans would have been on cloud nine after that one they'll be counting the minutes now till the 90 and that is the goal that we said could change the game and what a strike to do so 27 minutes away now are the black and white brigade and now they will be the ones taking their own sweet time with every single throw in and free kick and substitution 
and there's the substitution just when you mentioned uh, it is Juan Carlos uh, Nella uh, coming on to replace uh, well we'll find out who it is Kasimov a like for like change and he's taking every second possible on pitch there as you mentioned that too Liam uh, Kasimov uh, taking his own sweet time he's not happy with that uh, he's one who likes to play throughout 90 but uh, a needed one a tactical one from Andrew Chernyshaw yeah I'm not too sure about that substitution you need someone like Kasimov and his fire and his fighting attitude not the best of crosses there from the right hand side what do you make of that change though very like for like one just just one or two little differences one being that uh, Juan Carlos Nella uh, more favors his left than the right of Kasimov and the other thing is uh, uh, Kasimov has more game time in the high league under his belt compared to Juan Carlos Nella even though he has won the title and here Shilong Lechong felt a little nudge a play on says the ref and Angusana has seen a long ball forward a fantastic first touch from Bikash. He's through on goal and goes for goal himself. Misses the target narrowly. Oh, was there a deflection on the way? Seems like a corner has been awarded. Bikash has been excellent this season and that is another brilliant move from him. First the chest and then the pace. I think there might have been a touch upon second viewing. Yes, it is and now it's a chance for Mohamedan Sporting to try and double their lead. Kozlov puts the ball in. Cleared away by Shilong Lajong. And from Bikash's point of view, sometimes that's the problem when you're so quick. Nobody else could keep up with him, so he had to take the shot rather than squaring it. But now you can see that there is a sense of calm when it comes to Mohamedan Sporting. They know that this is the position they want to be in. It's just a question of closing it out now. But at the same time, <clears throat> they'll be taking every second possible. I'm sure he's offside. Well, the whistle was gone already, though it was risky. It is an offside against uh, Douglas uh, Tardin. But uh, as he was saying, that they'll slow it down. Uh, uh, moment in sporting, they'll take their time and uh, calm things down. They can now uh, really manage the game. But to manage the game with uh, 24 minutes remaining, 23 minutes remaining, uh, I would say if they have one goal more, it'll be safer. Of course, a draw does uh, the trick too, but uh, it's more special to get all three points uh, and uh, move to the title. Koslov again. And uh, he's on a yellow right now. There is one headache uh, that will be there in uh, Andrew Chernyshov's mind, but he has options in plenty. Uh, the likes of Benestin Barreto, uh, Sheikh Fayaz as well. We'll find out. And look at that. Just just uses his head there, resorting Liana. Just to make sure Padam Chetri can take his time and gather it. That is what he does exactly. And that's what game management is all about. And no matter how good a team you are, how many goals you score or the least you concede, if you cannot see games out, then you cannot be champions in a league or champions in any sort of format for that matter because at the end of the day you've got to protect the lead you've got to know how to get those 1-0 wins those 2-1 victories Mobile and Sporting know exactly how to do it they've closed many matches off now it's just a question of closing the title off sense of calmness creeping in the entire stadium a sense of quiet in the stands as well but the chants will get louder every time Shillong come in attack and Chernyshov just checking his uh, watch there how much time left uh, not too much uh, professor <laughs> uh, just a little more wait uh, before your team can celebrate uh, and uh, here's Samuela here sure changes change the thing or two and Koslov again, he's thinking of something similar maybe, he takes it to the right this time. And uh, some determined defending along with uh, a little poor finishing on that occasion. I think the idea was right. He went towards his right foot because 
the defenders expected him to go towards the left. Lots of time, of course, for Shilong Lejong to get back into this one. There was a bit of a push towards the end there. And that is the first involvement from Juan Carlos Nelar, who's come on in place of Kasimov. And these small substitutions might just be the difference for Mohammed and Sporting to go over the line. Frankie Bong puts the ball into a dangerous area. Ishad gets the touch. Paulinho is there. He looks for the cross. Very good defensive work. And it has been kept in. Spectacularly so. 20 minutes on the clock. Another ball into the center. Falls kindly for Silva. And that's a very good touch there from Nelar. That is what he is in the team four just to hold things up a bit after that does so well to turn as well and just dictates the tempo again for mobile and sporting now we were talking about the argentine alexis gomez here's another one on pitch from juan carlos nella and mohammedan will want to continue with that lead moving forward and they say they love fans on the stands no matter which team they're supporting a bit of risk taken and eventually well done by the chong and i remember you mentioning in the first half of the ending stages how shillong have a record against mohammedan and they've played thrice in the i league and shillong le chong have never been beaten by mohammedan sporting in the i league three meetings two wins for shillong one draw uh, the draw coming in this season's first meeting in Kolkata and the other two uh, just to remind uh, uh, those two wins for Shillong the first one was a 2-1 for Shillong Lejong but uh, when Mohammedan scored four Shillong scored five <laughs> there's uh, no way you're writing them off but uh, Mohammedan will want to see this game off cleanly here's another attack from the right uh, Kinsai Kongshit to Renan Paulino tried to exchange it quickly They'll have it back, Lejong. Yeah, that was a goal fest, that nine goal thriller all those years ago, almost ten years ago now. Joseph heads that away. And you can hear the oh that is a nice moment between a few youngsters. In fact, a Mohammedan sporting fan spotted there with the jersey on. They have fans in every nook and corner of the world and all of them will be watching their clocks watching their television sets and waiting in anticipation possession given away here is angusana kozlov has made the run is he on side he is on side can he get it through brilliant save for nato and that could have been the moment that mom and sporting finalized this Three points, but what a save once again. And a brilliant pass as well. That is some beautiful passing. Threading it past the entire defense, uh, having no clue. But right now, Shillong Lechong have a free kick. Taken quickly. Uh, Tamait. I'm not sure if we'll see a change sooner or later for Lechong, especially in the midfield. Uh, a cross comes in, a free one as well. And that was probably the best chance in the second half for Douglas Stardin. Padam Chetri was positioned rightly. But he had more time than he realized. Could have just taken an extra touch. Absolutely. Sometimes he's left his shot there. Sometimes you don't realize how much time you have. Could have taken a touch and then shot. But of course, in games like this, you have to make that decision in a split second. Nella puts a bit of pressure there. They're giving absolutely everything our Mohammed in sporting. And Shilong Lajong have lost the plot a little bit. There's Eddie. Feeds it back and the ball is played towards Kozlov. It's a little awkward. But good defensive work. And Neto with a fantastic throw to start off this attacking move again for Shilong Lajong.
almost a giveaway there. No pressure this time on Nato. Mohamedan have just uh, taken the press back and there are two changes ready on the touch line for Shilong Lechong. Uh, we'll find out who a lovely little pass through from Damite uh, will look to get back on it. But Kenster is there. And leaves it for Tamait Lingdo. Very skillful. Oh, and just when I say it, just tries to dribble past uh, with that uh, silky move and wins a corner for Shillong. The fourth of the evening for Shillong Lajong. You can hear the crowd come alive again. And it looks like he is being substituted. That's the first time I've seen that. And it looks like Figo and Kinsai will be coming on. Oh, he'll not be happy. The young lad, the Mike Lingdo, has played so well in this season. Has got them crucial three points against Aizol FC with a stunning goal in the final minutes. Uh, but Kinsai Luhit comes on along with Figo Sendai. Watch out, watch out for these two as well. If you enjoy the game of football, these are youngsters you would want to keep your eye on. Buam has been taken off too. And Figo, with his first involvement in the game, has this corner to take. Decent delivery, flicked on by a Mohammedan sporting head. And that's another corner. Padam Chetri feels that it came off someone else. And he goes all the way to the other side now, Figo. This time for an in-swinger. Oh, is he going to be the set-piece maestro here for Shilong Lechong? Fiko Sintai delivers again. Padam Chetri ever so eager to not let anything more through apart from that one penalty. Kinsel will control and delivers it in the box. A number of red shirts there but too many in white. Mohammedan will look to launch a counter. Angusana checks back. Bikash has the pace. Nato was out. I'm not sure if he got it cleanly. Not cleanly enough to win his side a goal kick. Proactive goalkeeping from him. And with that, it looks like we're going to see another change from Hobden Sporting Club. A defensive one there. Thokchum James Singh comes on. And is it Bikash that is going off? With all his space on the counter, they decide it's time for some defensive stability. And they're trying to manage the game here. And uh, they go to a back five, I believe. Uh, James can also play on the left uh, mid-half position. It's something we call in layman language. And uh, not sure if that defensive strategy will pay off. But Shilong are... Gradually losing the plot here, Bobby Nong, but just a bit frustrated, just a bit uh, disappointed of all the efforts they've made in the first half. A yellow card for Suidika for time wasting, is it? Well, it's already started. <laughs> the fans also giving him a bit of it. And I know, of course, the natural thing is to want the win, but in the back of their minds, Andy Chernyshov knows that he doesn't want to concede two. Of, of course, if you concede one, it's fine. But that must be at the back of his head as well. Possession given away. Here come Mohamed and Sporting again. Oh, that's a poor shot. Usually so much better from those positions. And Shilong Lajong wasting no time taking it quickly. Samuel taking that shot on that occasion. Just the bounce is what deceived him, I would say. Couldn't connect it well. A weak, weaker left foot. Prefers his right, but... Uh, uh, Mohamed in sporting have right, rightly slowed down the game. Uh, that is what Shillong didn't want. And that is why Bobby Nongbert was having the headaches because they liked to attack with pace. They wanted more goals which didn't come 
and that is where the question marks uh, lie because he said even in the pre-match interview that he wants to score early goals early goals had come but only one of it and after that uh, they missed so many chances and if you miss so many chances against a team like uh, Mohammedan Sporting it is very difficult to get points uh, and to be fair to Mohammedan and Padam Chetri they have done very very well to keep the contest alive Fiko uh, Sentai or a bit of injury concerns uh, there in the midfield uh, and the play eventually stopped looks like Irshad is the one struggling for now and this is also a way of just killing some time taking all the momentum out of the game Andre Chernyshov is sweating and lots of the fans are eagerly watching and there will be some really tense fans watching on in Kolkata speaking of tense take a look at Bobby Nongbet Twenty-one sixteen, the temperature range in Shillong apart from this very venue it is heated up it is sweats it is nerves it is excitement along with tension in the atmosphere inside almost like a different zone here Muhammad and launch it long a bit of risk taken by Nito to try and collect it uh, avoids the corner but they still believe they have a chance in this. Oh yes, they definitely do. Especially the way they have been attacking. And you did mention that it is feeling a little hotter in the stadium. Perhaps it's just the Kolkata effect <laughs> with the side <laughs> from the east looking to win their first I-League crown. What a wait it has been. Well, they have to wait nine more minutes and a bit. Well, they've already started taking the ball into the corner and trying and just taking the sting out of the game. I think that is important, especially when you're away from home. And it's riling up the fans as you can see and hear. And the more interesting part is they do not have the trophy to play for. They're not fighting relegation. They just want to finish with a win. They just want their team to win the game. They do not care about table toppers. They do not care about uh, uh, the position in the league table. All they care about is uh, getting goals and winning the game. That is why you would love to once be in this venue to enjoy. Uh, but uh, Mohammed and Shaw are enjoying the lead at the moment, even though under pressure. As I said, I would have loved to know what Andre Chernyshov said at halftime, but whatever he did, it has worked. They've tightened up everything at the back, they've slowed down the game, have mobbed in sporting, they've scored on the counter, they've created chances, and now they're managing the game beautifully. Look at that cushioned header towards Angusana. He gets it back, then just smashes it upfield. Eddie is not too happy. And let's not forget about Eddie Hernandez. 13 goals this season, leading the line for Mohammed in Sporting. We haven't seen much of him today, but what an impact he has provided to this Mohammed in Sporting outfit this season. Red and Paulino goes short to Marcus Silva, who has been forced to drop deep. And a little change in formation too for Mohammedan. Uh, has gone with four in the mid, nothing much wide. And, uh, and that has helped to their cause to just keep it more tight. 5-4-1 almost. Uh, and that is what you were pointing out to me as well, Liam. That here's a chance for Shilong Lechong. And when Polino, a hopeful effort. Just wide, not just really. <laughs> Good margin wide. <laughs> And there you see Andrei Chernyshov, he knows how close they are. Just six minutes of regulation time remaining. Padam Chetri will want to smash this 
into the orbit and he does. Looking for Eddie with the flick on. Kozlov with the chase. I think he will get there. And he does sublimely well. Puts the ball in and that will be a corner. He was going for the pass towards Eddie. And looked for a bit of the reverse one. But he has been superb coming on early in that first half. He's been wanting his chance ever since. He's got his chance against Neroka a while ago at this very venue. He, he, he was starting the game, didn't have a great uh, half, was substituted. Uh, he's been uh, not getting too many starts. Uh, he wants to start the game is what we heard and that's why he was more frustrated. But today he's proved it why he wanted the starter. Uh, Angusana. Of course, Lauf here again. A lovely turn and a touch inside. Nito was positioned so perfectly that the ball had only one direction to go in. That was his palm. And here's Figo Sentai. Kenstar. Trying to find some inspiration for Shilong Lajong. And the stadium full of fans has provided a lot of that so far. But now, I think their fans have to find a different voice to try and get them over the line. Or even just to get an equaliser for now. But as things stand, Vashwar, it's looking good for Mohammedan Sporting. It is, and I have to give credits to Andrew Chernyshov and his game management at least so far. Even though I'm not counting anything half yet. Here's uh, Ken Sturken. Delivers a cross in. Important header, but it's still stayed in the danger zone. And so I think Liana will take no chances and clear it out. Uh, and I was talking about uh, the changes from Andre Chanishov. The formation changed. Uh, and here's another chance for Shilong Lechong. Uh, Mohammed haven't really gone into a park the bus mode, but still are defending. That is very, very interesting uh, from. Uh, and return each other. That is what I was trying to say. There's a bit of injury there in the midfield. Mohammedan will be more than happy to play it out. Uh, but uh, then the point is, uh, it's just showing everyone that even without playing that uh, unattractive brand of park the bus style, you can still defend. He adds on five in the defense, four in the mid, and just uh, plays the normal but different style of football to contain the Lajong attacks. And that ha has worked. Almost definitely, as I said, he has been in a similar position before, just a win away from the title a couple of years ago. Perhaps he felt that it was the need to switch to a 5-4-1. It has worked, of course, after that goal. And as I said, they have to not concede too. That is the main thing. They know it as well. No matter how you get over the line, you have to get over the line. And so far, they're doing it in the way they have wanted to, would have wanted to. With the lead, here's Eddie. Sublime turn from him. And that is very good defending from Shilong Lachong. Now they can try and move it forward. The fans have been slightly dampened in the last few minutes. Can they pursue their side to keep moving forward? But there's no space. Absolutely no space. Every time a pass is played towards a Shilong Lajong player, a Mohammedan sporting player, makes sure to stop him in his tracks. Once again. And that is what the difference has been for Mohammedan with those tactical changes along with personnel changes. Daniel Gonzalez. Trying to spread it out wide on the wings. Suidika. Substitutions on point from Andrew Chernyshov. Proven again with that challenge. Well, you know what they say. When you have been in a title race and when you come back into one the second time around, it's a lot more different. And Andrew Chernyshov has shown that a couple of years ago, he fell short. This time, it's these small things that make the difference. Padam Chetri has a bit of a problem with the tape. Might be feeling a bit of cramp. That's why he's decided to take the tape off. And Bobby Nongbet and his side have fought hard. 
They need to keep fighting if they are to spoil this Mohammedan sporting party. Into the final minute of the 90 we go. I wonder how much will be added on after that. Uh, that might be decisive too. And Samuela trying to get a touch uh, to it. Nothing for Eddie Hernandez today, surprisingly, but still they have managed to uh, get the lead twice, not just once. Uh, and here comes uh, Juan Carlos uh, Nella all the way back to Padam Chetri. A oh, bit of risk there, I would say. Uh, they are confident but cannot be complacent. Uh, Zudika trying to find Koslov, who might just reach there first. Uh, Daniel Gonzalez has it covered. Seven minutes will be added on. And it's seven minutes between Mohammedan Sporting and Seventh Heaven. They have to hold on for just a little longer if they are to be crowned the champions of the I League. But Shilong Lijong will have something to say about that. That's a poor pass. Padam Chetri will have a drink of water. And just wind the clock down. They have waited a long time for this. Hande Chernyshov has worked really hard for this. And he just wants to cross the T's and dot the I's. And if you look at the background, there is a huge number of stayed back, but a few walking off as well in disappointment. But I'm sure they have enjoyed a show here. Uh, they love football, and either of the teams uh, have not disappointed. Ronnie Wilson gets there first. Uh, and plays it back to Hame. Shillong will keep trying till the very end. Uh, they have uh, a history this season of scoring late goals. Uh, and uh, Ishad just clearing it away. And I'm sure Sweeney fans are eagerly, eagerly watching, seeing their hopes sink. Uh, has he stayed onside? Well, he in his mind for a moment thought as well. But that'll be more closer a call than we thought, I'm sure. Yeah, very good offside trap there from the Mohammedan Sporting Defense. Definitely looked offside. And what a save from Padam Chetri to come out quickly and make sure that it doesn't go into the back of the net, even though it was off. Brilliantly taken down again by Eddie. Nellar plays it forward. And Shilong Lajong looks slightly deflated now. They try to keep pushing, but Mohammedan Sporting keep pushing them back. Marcus Silva, Douglas Sarin, all of them have worked so hard along with uh, Hame and uh, Tamayt in the midfield. Uh, every one of them, Renan Polino. Whatever the result of this game, this team has shown promise and some brilliant display of football for the fans throughout the season. Here's one more chance, uh, or not quite dealt with well. Cushion back uh, and some determined uh, and necessary defending from Mohammedan Sporting. And can that lead to a counter? No is the answer for the time being. They will keep pushing here, Shilong Lajong, for an equalizer. That has been nicely grasped by Padam Chetri. Hande Chernyshov knows that he's almost there. One huge push is what the Shilong Lajong faithful will be wanting. Right now it's all about Mohammedan Sporting and how they can see this game out. How they can see the title out if, uh, if they are to do so chance there from Samuel wasn't able to pass it to Kozlov three of them have to try and come back Figo gets the touch Zudika can't get the challenge away a bit of space now opening up for Shilong Lajong 
Ball has been played in. Joseph goes for it. It falls to a red shirt. They can't get the shot off. Now they do. And there Joseph was on the goal line floor for a clearance. Not sure if it was going in. But he was definitely at the right place at the right time there. The big defender. And look who is running forward. And Nato himself just urging his team forward. That Joseph Ajay, what a big, big block that would have still fallen to a Shillong player. It is Kenster. Under pressure, Koslov is on a yellow. Oh, no foul, says the ref. A, a little soft there. Cleared away by Zwidika. And there's a feel that this is not over. There's a goal on either side, maybe. And uh, Mohammedan would want it to be theirs. But once again, Joseph in the way. And now, Chuan Carlos Nella. And does he have the pace to take on everyone there? Uh, has to tr check back. And they will have the chance going. And Joseph has found a new position. It's called second goalkeeper. <laughs> That's what he's playing for right now. He'll do anything to get your hands on that title. And he's sensing the danger whenever it comes forward. Eddie has probably decided to just defend from the front. He's not chasing that. And with two minutes away from the seven that has been added on, it's now or never for Shilong Lajong. It's now or never, in fact, for Sridhi Deccan. <laughs> Shilong Lajong have got to score because they have to score two in the space of two minutes. That's not going to happen. Possession given away. Now Kozlov to finish it. Plays it towards Eddie Hernandez. It could be fitting if he finishes it for more than sporting. But that's good defensive work. Eddie Hernandez seems like he doesn't care about any more goals, but just to try and get his team the win. Angusana, lovely trap. Juan Carlos Nella. A few more seconds, a minute to be precise. And they will try to get one more to make a fantastic ending to the story. Here Samuel Lalmon Puya has seen a cross towards the far side. Koslov will keep it in. Eddie Hernandez needs to make a move, needs to end the game here. Here's Koslov, he wants his second. And it went a bit too deep. But Samuela will have a chance to deliver from the left hand side again. And he finds Koslov, I'm sure he'll run down the clock there. It has to be a corner or a free kick. Uh, it seems like it is a goal kick, Kevin. Fantastic game management there from. Kozlov and Samuel they've run the clock down and Shilong Lajong will give one final push but it won't matter for Mohammedan Sporting even if they do concede of course they will want to finish it off with a win Shilong Lajong will keep pushing looking for some space there but Mohammedan Sporting have defended absolutely brilliantly Not sure if there are more attacks. Maybe one last allowed. Mohammedan just waiting to clear it. And they do. It is full time. And the efforts have paid off. Their time has come. Righted in gold. The champions of I League 2023 24. And Mohammedan Sporting through to the Indian Super League. One more chapter added in their glorious history book. Uh, they have worked for it. Uh, they have earned it. This is their moment. And they have not slipped for a moment. Alexis Gomez uh, down in tears. And why not? It is him who started things. And uh, it was Koslov who ended it. It is a shining bright performance from Mohammedan Sporting. Elation and ecstasy. And everything in between. More within sporting are your I League champions for the season. And it has been a long time coming. What an outpouring of emotions for all the players and the fans who have made the trip here to play in the SSA Stadium. And Vashwar, one thing is for sure that it is going to be a celebration in Kolkata tonight and for many a day to come. Because now there are three in the ISL. Oh well, and Andrew Chanishov 
leading his side into the Indian Super League. Crown champions of the I League. The celebrations will continue. But one thing I like about this venue and this footballing arena, they have not just put up a show, but if you can hear the background, they're appreciating the champions and the announcements being made as well to congratulate the champions. And that is sporting enough from Shillong and Mikalia. And they have done it here tonight. And uh, why not? And this man, a long servant of Indian football and of course Mohammedan sporting, the Pindu Bishwas, uh, they have all worked as a unit. Exactly, I was just about to mention him. He was in tears. He has been through everything with Mohammedan Sporting Club, has the Pindu Bishwas and the staff and everyone else rejoicing. And as you can see, fantastic stuff here from the Shillong Lajong fans. They are appreciating absolutely everything and credit to them. <laughs> and somebody has been dropped as well. The celebrations will go on and on and they deserve it. And Andrei Chernyshov has to take a bow. They lost out in 2020, a few, or 2021, a few seasons ago. And now they are finally the champions. And look at the away crowd appreciating Mohammedan sporting. And the home crowd for Lajong, of course. Uh, and the country flags are out uh, for them as well. And there is an Argentine who started the story. And they will celebrate. Uh, but at the same time, uh, the Lachong fans. Uh, and Richernishov said at the start of the game, uh, it doesn't matter whose fans uh, uh, are present in the stadium. He loves fans being present. And they have converted them to their very own. And that is a victory, to say the least. Uh, a proper, proper one. Well, absolutely, and it's going to be a celebration and a homecoming for Mohammedan Sporting. Their next game at Nahati will be the celebration of not only what has happened in this season, but a culmination of all the years, of all the hard work, of all the passionate fans that have flocked to stadiums and have made travels across the country and have supported their team through thick and through thin. There have been dark and bright days but this is the brightest of them all for the black and white brigade because finally they can say that they are the champions of the national league and if you're wondering what's playing on the background that is not the mohammedan <laughs> theme song it is uh, the shillong lechong theme song but uh, creating an atmosphere to celebrate of course uh, dancing to the tunes uh, and what a show though from both the teams. This has been one of the best matches of the season without a doubt, especially in the first half. And the celebrations will continue for the Mohammedan sporting side. Appreciating this crowd who have been superb. The Shillong Lajong faithful have had a very good Come back season into the I League, and I'm sure that they will keep going and going. And this is just the start of a new chapter for them. But for more than sporting, of course, they will be creating that new chapter into the Indian Super League. They go just the second team to secure promotion into the Holy Grail, which is the Indian Super League, and they get to celebrate it with a few fans as well. This is so adorable. These are the Shillong Lejong fans there. And they are still there in the stands to appreciate the champions. There are a few Mohammedan fans uh, who are, of course, bursting out in emotions. But look at this scene. These are scenes uh, when you know you are the deserved champions of the league. They have done something great. Uh, and there's a picture of greatness in the background. Uh, it is in Lejong. Uh, couldn't have been a better venue for this. Oh, absolutely, and respect must be paid to the Shillong Lajong fans for appreciating Mohammedan Sporting, who are the champions and deservedly so. 15 wins with this game, just the one loss and seven draws, and now hitting that 50 point mark and eventually surpassing it with one game in hand. And that one game is against Delhi FC. The celebrations will continue. 
that will uh, move on with further proceedings. We'll look at the stats, we'll look at the highlights, uh, and we'll give you the summary of the game as well. And here's the stats at full time. A hard worked, a hard fought game. A 53% possession for Shilong Lejong. Majority of the shots as well, 13 of them. A four on target, that's the same as Mohammedan on target. 47% possession, eight shots, four on target was enough to get two and three points on board to be crowned the champions. Five corners for Shillong and four for Mohammedan. Coming into this one, Mohammedan Sporting had not beaten Shillong Lajong in the I League. Well, now they have 13 shots from Shillong Lajong, Tardin with three, including the goal, Buam, Beren Paulinho. And Rudwell uh, with two, Gonzalez and Ken with one each. And eight shots from Mohammedan Sporting. Uh, Koslov just turning around the game. Uh, three shots, uh, one on goal, a beautiful one. Uh, Bikash Samuela with two attempts, and Alexis Gomez uh, with that uh, wonderful long range. Two top quality goals to separate the sides really and the 10 fouls from Shilong Chong to Mike Lingto with three, Kin Sailang with two, and Ken Stir with one, Renan Polino, Ronnie Wilson and Marcus Silva with one each as well. Absolutely fitting goals to crown Mohammedan Sporting Champions and this is how hard they had to work, 11 fouls, two from Jasim and one apiece from Adinga, Angu, Bikash, Kozlov and Joseph. Joseph with a couple of very important blocks towards the end of the game. And Mohammedan Sporting, who have teased and teased their fans and have had so much of agony over the past few seasons, finish at the top of the I League with 52 points out of 23 games with one game to go. But the dream is done for Srinidhi Deccan. They will have to come back next season and try once again. But for now, it is Mohammedan Sporting who are your I League champions. And the maximum Srinidhi can reach is uh, 50 right now, even if two wins in two games. Uh, but that will only give them uh, silver and uh, not gold, which Mohammedan have clinched with the match remaining. The story of the game then, fantastic uh, game, and that's how it all started. A 50 second stunner from Alexis Comis. Uh, and he has not just done that the first time, he scored in the previous season from a corner kick as well. And uh, he is a special, special talent scouted into the Indian football scenario. There were chances after that, back-to-back -back chances. And if Lachong would have taken those, uh, we would have been narrating a different story right now. With Muhammad and Faithful will be happy, will be thankful that that isn't the case. Uh, Lachong came back into the game with this penalty kick from uh, Douglas Stardin. And that wasn't enough. Uh, that just wasn't enough. There were more chances. We'll just look at that shortly. Oh, absolutely. They were here to spoil the party. Was Shilong Lajong. Douglas almost got a second. It struck that post. Then Padam Chetri stopped it again. Then Frankie Buam with a fantastic shot from a distance. It hit the top of the crossbar and went over as well. And twice hitting the crossbar. That is what we call champion's luck, is it? Oh, absolutely. And sometimes champions have to make their own luck. And Mohammedan Sporting just about held on. They held on and made sure that Shilong Lajong did not take the lead no matter how close they came. This will be a huge talking point. That miss from Ronnie. This save from Netho. And maybe Mohammedan Sporting thought that it was not their day. Because Bikas should have finished that. Netho did really well claiming that one. This was another fantastic save from Padam Chetri. Frankie Buam could not convert. And that was just one half of the game. And that's how heated up it has been. And there were a few more shots coming in, but Mohammedan Sporting uh, tried and tried with Samuel Lalman Puya coming in. And they soon had moments falling in their way. More chances for Shilong Lechong were defending for their lives. And uh, a very few seconds later, what happened is what we'll see now. And then it was Kozlov with the strike that Mohammedan Sporting fans will never ever forget because this will be the goal that will always be remembered as the one that gave them their I-League title. They kept going, did Mohammedan Sporting, that was a good save as well. This was a good chance for Douglas. But eventually Andrei Chernyshov's team 
were resilient. That was the save from Joseph and that was the full time whistle. And as the celebrations will continue at the SSA ground, Shillong Lojong have been beaten by Mohammedan Sporting by two goals to one in what was a cracker of a game and it was our pleasure to call it. From my co-commentator Vashwar Ghosh and myself Liam Bain, thank you for watching as we congratulate Mohammedan Sporting on becoming the I-League champions.